How can you get a girl to like you in the same way that you like her? In other words, get her to like you in a sexual and romantic way. In this video, I'm going to give you examples of what to say and do to get a girl to like you. First, let's start with tip number one. Be a good guy, but don't be too nice to her. There's nothing wrong with being a good guy, or even being nice to a woman. Problems emerge when a guy is being way too nice to a woman. If he's being too nice to her, and laughing at all of her jokes, being very polite, and essentially being on his best behaviour, she starts to become suspicious. She's wondering, why is this guy being so nice to me? She may then assume that the guy is being that nice because he is a really sweet, nice guy, and if she got with him, he would be really sweet and nice all the time, and it would end up being quite boring because it would be too one-dimensional. He'll just be nice and sweet and gentle with her all the time. He wouldn't have that edge to him. He wouldn't have the balls, the confidence, the masculinity to make her feel attracted in that type of way as well. Alternatively, she might assume that he's being that nice to her because he doesn't feel worthy of her. He feels as though she is way more valuable than him and he needs to be really, really nice and be on his best behavior to not say anything wrong or do anything wrong and hopefully get a chance with her as a result. He doesn't want to put a foot wrong. He wants to make sure that she sees him as being a really nice guy and there's nothing wrong with him. He's just really nice. He's got good intentions with her and he's just trying to get to know her. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a good guy when you're talking to a woman or being nice to her, but you have to add in something else into the interaction to make her want you, right? So if you want to get a girl to like you, it can't just be about you being nice to her. You also have to actively make her feel attracted. The way that it works is that if a guy is interacting with a woman and he is making her feel attracted, plus being good to her or being nice to her, she sees him as being charming. A lot of guys mess this up and assume that being charming is just about being nice to the woman. However, you also have to make her feel attracted. How can you make her feel attracted? Well, what you need to do is display personality traits and behaviors that naturally attract women. So what are some examples of how to display attractive traits to get a girl to like you? I'll teach you now in tip number two. Tip number two, tease her in a playful way. If you have the guts to tease a girl in a playful way when talking to her, you will immediately stand out from pretty much every other guy that she interacts with. Most guys are on their best behavior around a girl that they like, and they don't want to say anything wrong. They don't want to say anything that might offend her or shock her or make her think that he isn't such a nice guy after all. However, if you take that approach with a girl that you like, she's going to see you as boring. There's not going to be a spark between you and her. She might think of you as being a good guy and she might care about you in a friendly way, but she's not going to have strong sexual feelings. She's not going to want to get to a kiss with you. She's not going to want to have a relationship with you. So if you want to stand out from other guys and make her want you in a sexual and romantic way, one of the best ways and the fastest ways to do that is to tease her in a playful way when you're talking to her. The first example is where you're talking with her and you notice that she keeps checking her phone. Now, a nice guy who's on his best behavior and doesn't want to say or do anything will just let her check her phone all the time and just sit there and be a good boy. He'll wait until she's finished playing with her phone and then he'll try to start talking to her again. On the other hand, a guy who makes her feel attracted will have the balls to playfully tease her about checking her phone all the time. So. He's talking with her and he notices that she checks her phone. He doesn't say anything about it the first time. Then they continue talking, having a chat, and she checks her phone again. This time he looks across at her and says, no, no one sent you a message, no one cares about you. And then has a laugh with her about that. Now, what you need to understand is that if he has been a good guy while talking to her, she's not suddenly going to see him as being a bad guy, a jerk, an asshole because he playfully teased her in that way. Instead, She's going to think, wow, this guy has the balls to say something funny like that and tease me and he's not even worried about me potentially getting angry or losing interest in him. Therefore, he must be confident and believe in himself around me. Now, that's very attractive to a girl. Most guys don't believe in themselves around an attractive girl. Most guys are hoping to get a chance with her. They are on their best behavior. They don't feel like they deserve her, but they're hoping to get a chance with her. 
When a girl comes across a guy who has the balls to playfully tease her in that way, then she starts thinking, well, wow, this is actually different. It's not happening the way that it usually happens where a guy is on his best behavior hoping to get a chance with me. This guy's being good to me and we're having a good chat, but I don't know whether he is 100% interested in me or not. As a result, the guy becomes a bit of a challenge for her to acquire, which is exciting for her. The next example is where you're talking to a girl on a hot day and all of a sudden she says, oh, I'm so hot. At that point, most guys who are trying to be nice and on their best behavior are going to say what? They're going to say, yeah, it's really hot today, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait for the cooler weather to come along or maybe we should go inside where there's air conditioning. Now, there's nothing wrong with being normal like that and talking about the weather and talking about going inside where there's air conditioning if it's hot. There's nothing wrong with that. However, if you want to get a girl to like you, what you need to be aware of is that there are many opportunities in a conversation to make her feel attracted to you. When you make her feel attracted to you in a sexual way, then she has a sexual and romantic interest in you. So make sure that you pay attention to things that she says and then use that to playfully tease her at times. You don't want to playfully tease her all the time. right? You add in playful teasing about 20% of the time and that's enough. So the example is you're sitting with her and she says, oh, I'm so hot. And then you look at her and say, well, you're hot, but come on, you're not that hot. And then have a laugh with her about that. If you want to put her mind at ease, you can then say, no, no, just kidding, you're sexy, even on a hot day. What you need to understand is that many girls are insecure about how they look. Now, if the girl that you're talking to happens to be wearing makeup, she can be insecure about the heat and how that would be affecting her makeup. Some girls are insecure about their makeup smudging or their mascara running and things like that. So telling her that you're just kidding and that she looks sexy even on a hot day will put her mind at ease. Right? She'll feel happy that you're doing that, but she'll also feel attracted to the fact that you had the balls to joke around with her and say that she's hot, but come on, you're not that hot. You're not being on your best behavior all the time, hoping to get a chance with her by being a good boy. You're being a little bit cheeky sometimes. You're being a little bit playful. You're making things fun between you and her. The next example is where you're talking to a girl and she says the classic line of, you're a really nice guy or you're a nice guy. Don't go ahead and say thanks to that and take it as a compliment and not do anything with it. You've got to understand that if she's saying that you're a nice guy, it can be because she's trying to say, hey, I'm just seeing you as a nice guy. I'm not feeling any sexual attraction with you. I can be friendly with you, but I'm not interested in anything sexual or romantic. So make sure that you use a line like that, a comment like that, to make her feel attracted and turn things around so she actually likes you in a sexual and romantic way. So for example, if she says, you're a really nice guy, assume that she's saying that because she's hitting on you, right? She's trying to flirt with you. Rather than saying thanks, you say, flattery will get you nowhere, girl. But go ahead, keep going with the compliments. What else do you like about me? And then have a laugh with her about that. She's almost certainly gonna say, no, no, I wasn't saying that, I was just saying that you were nice. You can then say, yeah, right, I've seen the way that you've been looking at me. You've been undressing me with your eyes. You're actually very forward, you know? Just settle down a little bit. And then have a laugh with her about that. So if you're being a good guy when you're talking to a girl that you like, and you're also making her feel attracted by playfully teasing her and being confident like that, she's going to feel attracted to you. She's going to see you as being charming. Other guys looking on who don't understand how a woman's attraction works will be thinking, what does she see in that guy? Why does she like him? I'm nicer to her than he is. He doesn't even seem like he's trying that hard. He's teasing her at times. He's saying some things that I think are rude. Why does she like him? Well, she's feeling attracted to his confidence. She's feeling attracted to the fact that he has the balls to say things that other guys are afraid to say around her. She also understands the fact that he's only joking. He's not being serious about those things. He's not turning to her when she's checking her phone and saying, no, no one cares about you. No one sent you a message. Why do you check your phone so much? Put your phone down sometimes, Jeez, People are so addicted to their phones these days, right? He's not being a jerk like that. He's not being an asshole. He's not being uh, a crazy weirdo. He's just playfully talking to her and saying, no, no one sent you a message. No one cares about you, sorry. And then having a laugh with her about that. In addition, he's also being good to her. Generally speaking, when he's talking to her, he's being a good guy and getting along with her and having fun, having a chat, but 20% of the time, he's adding in some playful humor to tease her and make her feel attracted. Tip number three, 
avoid qualifying yourself. Qualifying yourself is essentially about telling a girl things about yourself to hopefully make her decide that you are good enough for her and give you a chance to be with her. So an example is where a guy is talking to a girl and she is complaining about how other guys treat her and how guys are just interested in sex and they don't treat women well. A guy who qualifies himself will then start saying, well, I'm not like that. I would never treat a woman like that. I think it's disgusting. Uh, I think that a man and a woman should get to know each other for a couple of months before having sex. I think that men should be more polite and more considerate of women's feelings. Now, there's nothing wrong with a guy having a viewpoint like that if he wants to have that kind of viewpoint. However, if a guy is saying those sort of things to hopefully get a girl to see that he is not like other guys so she will decide to give him a chance, then he's doing it in the wrong way. Additionally, if a girl gets the sense that a guy is lying in the hopes of impressing her, her guard will go up. She won't be able to trust him. She'll feel like he's putting on an act to hopefully get a chance with her. Another example of qualifying is where a guy is talking to a girl that he likes and he wants to get her to like him. He notices that she's not showing much signs of sexual or romantic interest. She is a little bit indifferent about him. So he feels like he needs to raise his value in her eyes. He then starts talking about his achievements. He starts talking about his car if he has one, if he has an apartment or a house, he talks about that. Or if he wants to become successful, he talks about that. If he wants to make lots of money, he talks about that. If he has money, he talks about that. And he hopes that by saying those things, a girl will then decide, okay, this guy is good enough for me. Yet, the way that it works is that if a woman gets the sense that a guy is trying to build himself up in her eyes by talking about his possessions or achievements or his desire to succeed, she will actually see him as lower value. She will see that he doesn't feel good enough for her as he is. Therefore, she starts to think, well, maybe I'm too good for him, right? So even though she's not too good for him, he has created that perception in her mind. He has made himself look lower value by trying to make himself look higher value. So if you want to make a girl like you, don't make the mistake of qualifying yourself and thinking that you need to raise your value in her eyes by bragging about things or talking about how successful you want to be and so on. There's nothing wrong with talking about success or talking about what you've achieved as long as you're not saying it in a way to hopefully raise your value in a girl's eyes so she then decides to give you a chance. Tip number four, talk to her like a potential lover, not a potential friend. When a guy wants to get a girl to like him, one of the biggest mistakes he makes is talking to her in a neutral way like a friend. Just having a neutral, everyday chat and hoping that if he keeps talking to her, she will gradually start to like him. Yet, if a girl is attractive, she will have experienced that type of approach from guys many times before in her life and it's not exciting. What you may have noticed in your life is that some guys can start talking to a girl and they hit it off immediately sparks begin to fly between him and the girl. She's happy, she's smiling from ear to ear, she's touching him, she's flirting with him, she's really happy and excited to be talking to him. The reason why sparks fly so easily is that the guy is using an approach that makes the woman feel sexually attracted and turned on. He's not using an approach where he's trying to become her friend and slowly grow on her over time in a neutral way. Some guys can get laid and get a girlfriend by doing that, but what you may have noticed is that if a guy is using that approach and talking to a girl for weeks or months, all it takes for him to be pushed to the side is another guy to come along and make her feel sexually attracted. Sparks start to fly immediately between the two of them and she leaves that guy behind. What you'll notice is that it's not necessarily because the guy is better looking or because he's rich or powerful in society or anything like that. It's simply because he is using a different approach to the other guy. The guy who gets the girl is not trying to become her friend and slowly grow on her over time. He is immediately making her feel sexually attracted and turned on by the way that he's interacting with her. Tip number five, be a challenge but don't play too hard to get. The reason why girls prefer guys who are a challenge is that if she is attractive then pretty much every guy that she meets wants to have sex with her or be her boyfriend. It's very easy for her to get some sex or get a boyfriend because there are usually many guys in her life around her that want to have sex with her or be her boyfriend or she just has to go out to a bar or club and there are going to be loads of guys who are hoping to get a chance with her. This is why girls prefer guys who are a bit of a challenge. However, 
Where guys go wrong is that they become too much of a challenge. A guy will act as though he's not interested in a girl that he likes and as a result he'll make the whole process of getting her to like him more difficult than it actually is. Getting girls to like you is a very simple and straightforward process. So what you'll find is that when you are a good guy and you focus on making a girl feel sexually attracted to you during an interaction but you're not being desperate about trying to get a relationship with her or trying to get a chance with her, she will like you. It's actually very easy to get girls to like you because most guys do it wrong. Most guys are on their best behavior being really nice and hoping to get a chance with a girl. She knows that most of those guys are hoping to have sex with her or be her boyfriend. It's very obvious and it's not exciting to her. What's exciting for her is when she meets a guy who makes her feel sexually attracted right away when he starts talking to her and he's not being desperate about trying to get a chance with her. That piques her interest. That makes her want to pursue him. That makes her like him. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you'd like to learn more, I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version, The Flow on Audio. When you read The Flow or listen to The Flow on Audio, you will learn exactly what to say and do to make a girl like you in a sexual and romantic way. Once you start using the techniques from The Flow, you will see that it's actually very easy to get most girls to like you in a sexual and romantic way. When you've used The Flow on one or two girls and gotten to a kiss or sex, you will realize that you have your choice with girls. It's not about you hoping to get a chance with one out of a hundred girls that you meet. What you'll find is that most of the girls that you meet feel sexually and romantically attracted to you and you have your choice of them. One final point that I want to make for you in this video is that most girls are way easier to pick up than they make themselves out to be or than they appear to be. The reason why it sometimes appears that girls are hard to attract and pick up is that most guys are using an approach where they're trying to be liked in a friendly way by the girl. They're on their best behavior being nice and friendly and neutral and hoping that something happens. Yet what works and what cuts through all the games and gets the result is where you interact with a girl that you like and you make her feel sexually attracted and turned on by you during an interaction. You still continue to be the good guy that you are but with one important addition to what you're doing. You are now making girls feel sexually attracted and turned on by you in subtle ways when you interact with them. The funny thing is that other guys looking on can't work out what you're doing because it's not obvious. You're not being sleazy or anything like that. Instead, you're being what women refer to as charming. You're being a good guy who also makes them feel sexually attracted. If you really want to get girls to like you and chase you, then you're being a bit of a challenge to acquire as well. When you take that approach with girls, you will realize that they've always been way easier to pick up than they've made themselves out to be. You may have gotten rejected by some girls in the past, but the fact is you were good enough for most of those girls. It was just the approach that you were using that got you rejected. 